Brain Tech here, yeah? where tech is made simple. Currently, the latest stable release of the Brave web browser is version 1.48. Now, in the next version, 1.49, um, there's going to be a feature added that will stop um, in-app prompts from uh, different websites from occurring in the browser. Now, basically, what an in-app prompt is, in case you're unaware, um, it's when the actual website um, that you are um, accessing, like as an example, Twitter, Reddit, Instagram, Facebook, and so on, when that website uh, tries to get you to open the content or that website in the actual dedicated app of the service, so as an example, the app of Twitter, Reddit, Instagram, Facebook, and so on, and not in the actual browser. So if this is... Um, something that you would like to stop now instead of waiting for version 1.49 um, of the Brave web browser, then um, we can dive a little bit deep into the settings of version 1.48 to enable the feature now to prevent those inept prompts. Now to do this, um, it's quite simple to do and this applies to both desktop and mobile and obviously it goes without saying that this would really affect more mobile devices than desktop devices but to some extent it can also happen on um, a desktop uh, device as well. So on mobile and desktop just head to your address bar and enter brave colon forward slash forward slash add block. So I'm going to repeat that brave colon forward slash forward slash add block. And this is going to take us over to a filter list which is buried quite deep in the actual settings of the browser. Now here we get the content filters and what you want to do is show full list and here you'll see a option, a filter list, fan boys mobile notifications list, check that. And what this is going to do now and once you've enabled that option is Brave will use the list now for all sites and then hopefully uh, prevent a lot of those inept prompts to get you to actually open a different service or site in the actual app and not in the web browser. And then what I would suggest uh, is just to, once you've enabled that filter list, just X out of the browser and then reopen it and that should um, basically be a, a safety net as to having that setting applied. And that should then filter out a lot of those in-app prompts for different services trying to get you to open up um, the website in the actual app and not in the browser. And as mentioned, that's currently now in version 1.48. And that will actually be a default feature when it rolls out in version 1.49. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.